Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create this oscillating piston motion just by driving it using a rotating object. Here's my starter scene, and let me give you an overview. I have this little hierarchy where I have uh, that modeled rotor, and the whole null is rotating. And you'll see that nulls play a significant importance in this uh, setup. And I have this little cylinder, which is my little shaft, and it's more decorative. Then I have the rod, which again, it's a null, and we have a tube in a cylinder. And finally, we have a piston, which is another tube in another cylinder, and we have another null here. So what I'm going to do here is go to this little shaft, and I'm going to press Shift and create a null as a child. I'm going to bring it out of here. I'm going to call this Shaft Null. And I'm going to make sure that it's 20 from the center of my rotor and pinion. So it's over there. You can always eyeball it, but I've got it in exactly the same proportion as where my piston is. Excellent. Now, what happens is that if I take my rod and I make it a child of the shaft, what will happen is the rod is going to rotate all the way like this. So that's uh, interesting because it's centered. I need to go to the rod and zero out the positions. So now it's right there where the null is. And now it's going to rotate like this. So the position is good because I want it to stay with the null. What I don't want it to do is rotate. So what I'm going to do is force it to always face right here in this center, which happens to be the piston. So let me go to the shaft null and add a target tag and tell it to target the piston. And uh, look at that. It's always pointing to where that null is. But there's a problem. You can see that it's flipping. For any target tag to be stable, what we need to do is add an up vector. And in this particular case, Putting the piston as the up vector actually helps us to stabilize this without any problem. In many cases, if the object is symmetrical, you won't have a problem if it flips. But if you want a proper motion blur and all that, you need to make sure that uh, the motion is stable. So let's go to the other side now. I want to make the piston now rotate up and down. And what I need to tell it to do is to point over here. So it follows the position that this goes only by aiming at it. So I can tell this piston to target the shaft null. And you will see that it goes the other way. And that's because by definition, the target expression or target tag always points the plus Z. And here you can see this is um, in the reverse. It's uh, plus Z is this side, which is the back side. That's a very simple fix. Just go to your axes tool, get your rotation and rotate this and then press shift and quantize it to reach 180 degrees. From this point onwards, your rig is ready and stable. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.